All right, today we're going to take a look at how to clean the hull of your fiberglass gel coat boat. As you can see here, there's some yellow brownish stains appearing on the hull. This is due to organic materials in the water that soak into the gel coat. And we're going to look at one method of getting them off that's fairly simple that I do on a regular basis. Now the boat has already been washed and I've actually bleached it inside now too. The bleach will take off some stains but to get this uh, gel coat stain out you're going to have to use something a little bit more powerful. Here we see the other side of the boat. We say it's equally, we see it's equally stained if not more so. Probably should have had the whole boat in the sun but We'll take a look at how it comes out after. Now there are several hull brightening products available on the market for you to use to clean your boat. Um, one such product I've used in the past is called Star Bright. It's actually hydrofluoric acid. And then you can cut that down to a mixture and use it in your sprayer uh, to apply it. The, uh, the Star Bright or hydrofluoric acid is good because it'll get the stains out and it doesn't cause kind of a, an oxidation color around your stainless steel. <clears throat> but uh, today we're going to use a different type of acid that's available at any, any Lowe's or home center. It's muriatic acid, which is the hydrochloric version of a strong acid. Um, and it'll get these stains out too. The only difference is we need to uh, make sure we get it off. Uh, just rinse it at the end so that we minimize the discoloration that takes place around the stainless steel. Uh, one last comment about the two different uh, chemicals. Uh, both of them are very hazardous. You need to exercise caution. The uh, muriatic acid runs about 10 bucks for two gallons, I think, uh, the last time I paid for it. What it cost. And the Starbright is considerably more expensive because it's marketed as being uh, specifically for cleaning. Uh, gel coat fiberglass hulls. Now this is a case of do as I say not as I do. Um, you should wear some protective gear when using these types of strong acids. I would highly recommend some rubber or vinylized gloves, preferably some that go up your forearm. You may also want to wear some safety glasses because using these chemicals, uh, just a, a small drop in your eye could cause some really permanent damage or blindness. Uh, the fumes are also an issue, so you want to be in a very well ventilated area when you're using these chemicals. All right, I'm going to pour in the acid into my sprayer. I'm going to just eyeball it and mix up probably about a 20% acid to water. So say uh, one part acid to four parts of water uh, to get my mixture. All right, I'm pouring in the acid now. And we can see the level probably a little bit weaker than than one in mixture but I think it'll be sufficient we'll see how it works all right now we're gonna add the water component I'm going to fill this up to the usual line, leaving a little bit of air space in there so that it'll pump up and uh, work the way that the sprayer is supposed to work. And one of the good things about these sprays is it minimizes your contact with the chemical, whether it's a bug spray or in this case an acid. So if you don't have one of these, I really would recommend spending the 10 or 15 bucks to get one as I uh, certainly wouldn't want to apply this by hand or by using a hand pump like uh, what would you call it some type of spray hand spray bottle or something I think that would be 
a little bit dangerous. Alright, I'm going to put the cap on, pump it up, and we'll start applying it. Alright, I pumped it up, the uh, sprayer. Now I'm going to start applying it on the hull. We'll just do this back section real quick and give it a couple seconds to see if we get any kind of changing effect. Well, nothing apparent yet, <laughs> but uh, I usually spray it on and give it some time. I have another video camera running and we, I'm going to experiment with trying to do like a time lapse uh, speed up and see what kind of effect we get. I'm going to go ahead and spray the rest of the hull now from uh, top to bottom. Later on I will spray some on the floor because uh, with fishing and such you get water on the floor and it discolors the floor just a little bit. Not quite as bad as the outside but it'll look nice once it's nice and white. I almost feel like I'm seeing a slight change already. But I'm going to apply it around the boat and we'll check back in a couple minutes. Okay I finished applying it to the full length of the boat on both sides. You see it's starting to work. Some of the yellow is coming off. I haven't used up all of my two gallons in my sprayer because there's going to be some stubborn areas especially in the back. They're going to take a little bit more to get it clear. But we already see a really good improvement on this side. This is the side we started on. Now one thing I want to point out, this is an aluminum trailer so the acid has some effect on the aluminum parts uh, by kind of clouding it and whitening it up but if you have a galvanized trailer you can uh, quickly wash off the zinc on it that's protecting it from rusting and get an effect like this. So you want to keep that in mind when you're doing this and it's not something you want to do all the time. If you have a newer boat uh, you probably want to exercise a little bit of preventative maintenance and wax your hull occasionally to stop this from even happening. This side is looking much better. And this is, I've only sprayed it all the way uh, one time so we see that it is working uh, as time goes by I'm probably gonna have to hit it a couple more times in those spots that you see here All right, so final look. After several applications, mostly after the second application, I just focus on the problem spots, which were here at the end. You see, they're mostly gone now. Still some some rubs and stuff that could use a little bit of brushing yellow and brown discoloration is gone. Also had a tough area right here that I had to reapply. These are scuff marks. Probably use a Brillo to get those away but the 
discoloration on the gel coats going on this side too. So, vast difference from where we started and where we ended up now. Nice white boat as it was intended to be. If you have any questions, leave some comments. Let me know what you think, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching.